Episode 9, Tamari Demon and Arrow Demon. So I'm guessing these are the two assassins that were sent after us. Which we left on a cliffhanger with. The one with the balls and the one with the eye for hands. Or eyes in his hands. Yep. Secret and hidden. I'm ready for this fight. This will be sick. So Tamari's the ball. I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we saw him keep it Oh wait, this is sick. I love this. How many does she have? I thought she just had two. Maybe there are two. Maybe they're moving so fast it looks like there's like a thousand of them. I was not expecting that. That was... Okay, alright. Off to an incredible start. That was crazy. It's like the first major death we've had since the first episode. Crazy. <laughs> Oh. Freaking us is only you and Nesu go to. He's dead. True. Oh. The fastest thrusting technique of all ten forms. Total concentration. Water breathing. Seventh form. Okay. Sick. You think you can soften the Tamari's blow by stabbing it like that? How cute. Is that not going to work? Yeah, I was going to say, she can control them like not just by throwing them like even if they like stop she they can still just move in the midair it's kind of crazy how much control she has over them actually i'm ready for this fight though it's really cool how does it move around like that? that's a great question i have no it idea but it took his head off Is it like an extension of her body almost, maybe? What? He's dead, ma'am. I think. So he's a demon, too. That's very interesting. I didn't know that. The, I, first of all, even if he wasn't a demon, like, or was a demon, it's still so weird seeing him grow his head back. That is fascinatingly disturbing to me. That that's crazy. I didn't I didn't know he could do that, or that demons could like just grow their head back like that. I mean, I know they can grow body parts back and they can heal all the time, but it's just weird. You think like the limit would be cutting off the head, but I mean, we've seen demons with their heads cut off and they're still like alive and functioning. But his head was like blown to pieces, so I'm just surprised he can grow back, is all I'm saying. I may be able to conceal buildings and people and their scent, but it's not like I can hide the fact that they exist. The greater our numbers, the more traces we leave, and the greater the odds that Kibutsuji will find us. 
Yeah, probably. Considering they recognized it when they got here, saying the blood demon aren't used to conceal this house, they probably used it to conceal their sense as well, hence why they could sneak up on them so easily. I mean, Musan, uh, <laughs> was it? Kubu yeah. I'm so sorry, I'm horrible with names. Kabutsuji, there we go. Um, You know, he's like the freaking, I mean, he's the only one, theoretically, that can turn people into demons, so it would make sense. Like, he holds so much power that he would send these two after Tanjiro, obviously, because Tanjiro found Musan just out in public. But it, it would make sense that the two he sends are, like, the best of the best that can, like, conceal themselves. They're, like, assassins, literally. They're sneaky, they're efficient, and they're good at what they do. Okay. Directly under. Ew. Oh, I was not expecting that. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Six arms. Are, we, I feel like we just entered Mortal Kombat with the way she just grew those forearms. Mm -hmm. But if this goes on, it happened again. They changed directions even without hitting anything. Yep. Oh, they're just for. Oh, dang. Dude, it's crazy how skilled he is. You have to think about all of this with how fast everything's moving, and they keep throwing it into slow motion so he can, like, have his inner monologue when it's happening. But, like, in reality, this stuff is happening so unbelievably fast. It's actually insane how fast you have to think in situations like this. I can't even imagine how people... I mean, obviously, none of this would be really possible in real life. At least, I don't think so. Well, obviously, not like the ball thing. But, I don't know, just, like, thinking this quickly, it, it, it's weird that, like, there are real people that, like, can think so quickly in battle it's actually insane especially martial artists and stuff like it's wild to me and very impressive oh dang it's fine their demons are no grow back <laughs> Whoa, wait, that's sick. Mmm, very cool. That's really handy, actually. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. That was satisfying to watch. Where's the other dude? Is he just... I mean, I guess he sat on the tree, but still. I love this show's incorporation of 3D environments and CGI. It works so well. Like, it, they blend it so well together. Sick. Nice. Yeah, that was clean. Dang. I mean, she'll grow him back, but dang. That's what I thought. Looks like we found your first blood samples. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. That's a good point. <laughs> that laugh is, like, so weird. It sounds like a soundbite. Like, it's just being repeated over and over again. It's like the same laugh over and over. I, I, I mean, I like it. It's just odd. I, yeah, I believe. I mean, it looks like it. I mean, frick. <laughs> freaking! I feel like Tanjiro doesn't even get a break. I feel like we're just going from one demon to the other, like every freaking episode. Like it's crazy how much this dude has to go through. But it's also impressive because he gets out of every situation alive. Obviously. Oh. Oh, uh, okay, whatever you say. Uh, was he kidding, or was he suggesting that, and then she was so taken aback, he's like, I'm just kidding, because, you know, he's, like, madly in love with her or something, or just obsessed with her in some way or another. Incredibly loyal, I guess that's what I was looking for. Oh, dang. Freaking, she laughs like the. I feel like that laugh's gonna be copyrighted or something, like something she weird like that. Mm-hmm. She's the best of the best. Ooh. Yeah, and Nezuka. Oh man. <laughs> Yikes. Come on, we need the other two to come in clutch. Come on. Yes, you sure are. We're switching off. Let's go. I love this. Sick. His scent. Yep. Mm. Oh, dang. He missed. Because that arrow, yep. It's like how he moves. That's interesting. So, like, she has the balls that move with the arrows and then he just literally has like the force like he can but he has this Tanjiro has the vision so he can see the arrows and how he's being moved so I guess that's helpful but dang he's oh my yeah this dude's a problem he, he literally just has the force that's like so unfair how do you even beat that Yeah. You better think quick. Sick. Ooh, 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 get it. Get it, Nezuko, let's go. Cool. That was cool. I like that. Demon on demon action. They know who she is? Wow. Great, so now they have multiple targets. Oh, Nesuko, no! I mean, she's a demon, so she'll grow her leg back, but that's crazy. I 
I mean, I don't blame her for thinking that. It's a ball. I mean, you'd think you could cook it. Oh no. Oh no. They're probably going to use everyone else as like bait to get the to get Tanjiro and like them to come. Oh man. I didn't even think about that. I hope Nezuko develop or has um develops the ability to talk at some point. I mean, obviously end goal is to get her cured, right? But even if she becomes like stays a demon end goals for her to talk because she's been nonverbal as she's been a demon but she's you know been healing and stuff and all that and been staying out of the typical demon business you would but the entire time she's been through this journey of her growing she's been gagged so I would like to be able to hear her talk I don't know it would be cool if she can develop the ability to talk um at some point be nice to hear from her Nope. He's just waiting for you, man. No, but you can see the arrows on the eyes. Yikes. You just gotta be able to dodge, yeah. Nope, you just have to dodge. Dodge and weave. You can't attack the arrows, you have to dodge them to get to him. Don't lose that sword, man. Dang. Oh, he can't grow that back. You better think quick. That's interesting. I mean, that's creative. Clever of you to spin the same direction as the Koketsu arrow. Damn Koketsu me. arrow. They really got him a monkey, huh? <laughs> I gotta get to him. Somehow I need to change the direction of the arrows without touching them. Yep. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Sure, that too. <laughs> uh huh. Nice. Sick. Dang, and they got his head. Oh man, let's go. That was a really cool use or like show use of his powers. I don't know why I couldn't work that. That was a really cool way to show the use of his powers, like the whole combination stuff, like the different forms and stuff. You know, because usually he like commits to a form and then that's like it for whatever movie does. But like we were throwing all the different combos in there. That was that was sick. Oh, that's the end. Okay. Well, dang. <laughs> Neat ending. This whole episode was just pure action. Nezuko, how are you? Today I have a Taisho era secret that's about those two demons. Yahaba and Susamaru met for the first time today. I hear really? friends just by chatting with each other on the way here. Third form. You gotta respect the effort. <laughs> Looking good, Nezuko. No. Oh. Okay. Awesome. What a sick episode. Like I said earlier, or just a minute ago, this episode was pure action. I loved it. I, I love the action sequences in the show. Like, I, I know action sequences in anime are typically highly regarded, and this episode was no exception to that. It was incredible. I really, really liked the action in this episode. It was very cool, very creative, how both of them worked. Um, Kibutsuji's um, two servants... You know, I'm just going to call them assassins because they pretty much are assassins, right? Um, 
but like the way they two them worked like the one you know like throwing the the balls around but being able to move them freely because you know he can you know um Tanjiro can actually see the arrows until um he was given the third eye essentially to be able to see the arrows but it was really cool having the arrow like visual because it not only helps Tanjiro obviously but it can help me the viewer like actually understand more so how the powers work and then the dude with that you know eyes for hands like freaking he's pretty much at the force like you know the other one was just like strictly for the balls but like he he was like just just moving Tanjiro up and down and all over the place and a sword and everything and it was really cool how he had Tanjiro had to adapt to the situation to the environment to you know what was happening so he could actually work his way around the arrows by using different forms with the sword just to get to him to cut his head off I don't know that was really sick I love seeing him fight I love seeing Nezuko fight and them switching off halfway through the episode I mean she did lose her leg but she'll grow back obviously slower than usual because she's not a like full-on demon but still um I was not expecting dude's head to get blown off in the beginning of the episode that caught me completely off guard until it was revealed that he actually was a demon. Um, he was just concealing it the whole time. Um, but, man, I didn't even know he could, like, grow his head back like that. That was shocking to me. But it was even more shocking to just see his head get blown off in, like, the first, like, two minutes of the episode. That was crazy. I mean, it was really fun. I actually really liked it because it caught me completely off guard. But, yeah. Overall, just a very solid episode. Very action-packed. Very, like, strict to the point. Picked up right off with the cliffhanger last time. Left on another cliffhanger. I was told in the comments this show has a lot of cliffhangers, so I guess I'll come to expect that. But, yeah. Um, setting was the same. We, the entire episode took place at the house. It was just pure action. I don't know. I just, I really, really like it. Something about the show that seems interesting is, you know, like with a lot of these cliffhangers, no episode really seems conclusive. Like, each episode, I feel like I'm watching a movie that's being split up into a lot of episodes. That's kind of how I feel about this show so far. But I like it. It's cool. You know, I mean, it does suck to live on leave on a lot of cliffhangers. But I just, I don't know, I like the pacing of it, you know. I guess that it can also leave open the idea for some episodes to be nothing burgers, to be complete filler. And that's probably going to be the case in some future episodes. Um, but, you know, for the most part, I'm liking the show so far. So, yeah, very solid entry. Really liked it. And can't wait to see how this continues. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode.